about time to pull out the Johnny Apple Crusher 2000. Make some uh, apple juice. Look at this. I'm just going to put on some uh, <clears throat> railing. And that thing has to be filled up with cement. Friday, September 18th, about uh, 6 o'clock, maybe 5. I'm at it again. I got a bunch of steel here. I'm cutting uh, balusters for the railing that I'm uh, putting on the, the patio. If you've seen the previous videos. They are 39 inches, so that cuts evenly into uh, 20 feet with just a little bit of waste at the end. And I've got a lot of cutting to do. Here is the uh, the patio as it currently stands. So the uh, the railing I'm going to put in is going to go right along there, and I'm going to do some cuts to sort of go around the corner there, go out to that far corner over there, and then a run to home, which will be this corner over here. Of course, again, this is going to be a uh, sidewalk. And I'm going to put redwood, a redwood sort of uh, with a stair coming out there. And again, right over here, redwood. They should be about the same, same level on the same plane between those blocks and uh, where the concrete's going to be. I need to come in and trim that tree. Saturday, 12 o'clock. Just about got all these, uh, what are they called, balusters cut. <clears throat> I'm cutting 15 at a time. Found that uh, if you wrap it tight and uh, you know, pull the clamp up on it tight, It'll cut right through, nothing will fall. So while that's cutting, I can go do something else. So I've been digging holes and stuff over on the uh, on the patio where I'm gonna be sinking in the uh, the poles that are gonna help to hold the, uh, the gate in place. Just looking at this yard over here. You know, he's got, got these trees growing these are trash trees and they will ruin the fence, ruin this block wall. They'll just tear it right up with those roots. <clears throat> these things grow like crazy. They grow so fast. Next year it'll be five times that size. It'll be almost as tall as that uh, poor apple tree over there that hasn't been looked over. Found out the guy that lives here isn't actually living there. He's moved to a different house and he's selling that one. kind of fun to have that. It's like an acre surrounded by all these apple trees and stuff. Okay, we made some progress yesterday. Never make as much progress as I wanted. it. 
Um, here's what I've done. So, you know, I'm putting the railings up on the, uh, the patio over here. <clears throat> and so what I have is uh, some posts that I put in. So there's concrete underneath there. Just had to pull the papers up that were there, dig a hole, put the concrete in, put the hole, in, put the pole in the concrete. And so it's all settled in. And uh, and so then I um, I put three of those things in here. Um, and then just on the, the outsides here, I'll be putting these shoes um, and just bolting those out there. So you'll have a few really good strength um, going down into the, uh, the cement poles and uh, the rest would be just on the shoes, which should be fine. And then over here, on this far end of the patio, uh, the uh, the gate will continue uh, up this way and so those are a couple of poles that were left over from my uh, a balcony project that I did a year ago and uh, they were holding up they were the former supports for the uh, for my roof on the patio so So that's where I'm at. Now I'm going to take, and, and then I went around and I pre-cut um, these bars just to sort of follow the contour out here. And so now I need to, I'm going to take these bars and I'm going to go uh, sort of prefabricate them and, <clears throat> and then bring them over here. They're going to be pretty heavy, especially this first one. So. That's where I'm at. So I'm just about to get started here. And uh, <clears throat> I'm putting this railing together. And the way I do it is, uh, you know, this is the piece that goes on the bottom. And those uh, balusters that I cut yesterday, they, you know, they stick in this hole. And so I put this, I line this up over, over the top piece and then just mark the hole underneath to give me a spot. Right? And, you know, if when I weld it in, if I'm off by just a little bit one way or the other, it's no big deal because that bar will bend into the hole one way or another. A little uh, progress update here. So uh, what I do is I have this magnet and I just uh, set it in the channel and then I get a bar and I put it on the magnet like so. Okay. And then I push it forward until it gets to be over the top of one of these things. I just sort of position it perfectly. And then once I have it right where I want it, I push down on the top and I'm ready to ready to fire.
more cutting. Cutting the bars that are going to uh, I'll weld these to attach the, uh, the iron rod to the, the posts that I already put up. And then I'll <clears throat> and then I'll also cut a bunch of little two and a half inch pieces or two inch pieces to go <clears throat> uh, for the shoes that are gonna help to support the thing. Got the shoes painted. Well, I'm making headway on this thing. I uh, just need to cut my last piece here and put it up. That's tacked up there temporarily, well, permanently, but this side over here isn't tacked yet. Welded on. Sally, I think we've got a little doggy in here. There's a doggy in there, Sally. What is that? <laughs> <laughs> 